Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to have a match between Norm616 and Golda on Desert Plateau. This map only came up like, once. I, think, I can't remember if it was the end of the last turn. I think it was the end of the 2v2 tournament in April. But either that or it was a live match, I cast it. Anyway, this is a interesting map. It's rather hilly. It actually has quite a few choke points. They're a little subtle to see, but yeah, there's. it's a very choke point heavy map. Kind of open in the middle, but for the most part, fairly closed off tactically. You can go up with units up these plateaus. They're obviously slower, and metal-wise, relatively evenly distributed. Everything is about three metals, so it's high metal map with evenly distributed metal spots, but not a whole lot of metal spots. Anyway, Norm starting at the southwest side of the map with Pyro Factory. I mean, Jump Jot Factory. <sighs> and Golda starting with Gunships, which... Against Jump Jet Factory is a poor choice. We'll see how it goes, but last time we saw Jump Jet versus Gunships, every single gunship was torn apart by pyros, if not by puppies. It did not end well. It really did not end well for the gunships. We'll see how it goes here. This is Golda, after all. He is the best player in the game. So. I'm sure Norm is feeling a little bit intimidated, but yeah. Golda is a very strong player. Extremely strong. So we'll see how it goes, but... We do, like I said, have a bit of a factory advantage for Norm at the moment. He'll probably need a couple pyros, like three or four pyros coming in. One pyro is all that's going in so far, and he is in his main base, building up some freakers, and then more pyros. It's going to be aggressive, but with some construction, while Golda is focusing entirely on his commander for construction. That's all he's using for construction, is his commander. And the pyro has come in, is attacking the commander instead. The commander is actually not a terrible choice. In fact, the commander's taking a lot of damage. Nearly 50% health. Jump jet. The, sorry, the pyro is not jumping after it though, so it will escape. It will survive. Although, how much health is it? Yeah, 1600 health. That's not a huge amount of health, but the pyro is able to. If it had two pyros there, that would have been that would have been done. That commander would have been toast. But unfortunately, there was only one. And puppies coming in as well. Not been anti-air, although actually on this map, it does occur to me that these plateaus do provide a lot of room for the gunships to maneuver without jumps or jump jet factory bots on the ground attacking it. And Archangels are being built up by Norm. That, I don't know if it'll be up in time. Norm's losing a lot of territory and economy to the Banshees. His commander's also out of position, and the Pyro moving in, which we'll be able to deal a bit of damage. If it gets to the factory, that's going to be huge. Stem the tide of these gunships coming in. The Archangel about 17 seconds away from being done. Getting heavily damaged by the Banshees before it's completed, though, and the factory might go down. The Pyro is being attacked by the Banshee, but and at Golda's base. Trying to attack the factory, it... Actually, will it be able to... No, it won't be able to kill the factory. It won't be able to kill the gun... The Banshee that's being constructed, or barely kills the Banshee that's being constructed but won't kill the factory in time, I'm afraid. So, Archangel has been completed, though. Norm's base has been defended against, but it's... Er, has been defended. He defended against the Banshees without too much issue, but still, it's a decent issue. And this... One more Pyro. One more Pyro would kill that factory. It's like the second time. Like, two Pyros would have killed Golda's commander. Two Pyros would have killed Golda's factory. Like, Norm just needs to build a pair of Pyros, at least, and send them in. That would do the trick. He is building another Archangel, which isn't a bad idea. Although it's going to take another little while. It's 550 metal per. This first Archangel should be able to fight off these Banshees, but now Golda has a lot of map control. His commander's the only thing constructing anything, but the Banshees are able to get around, and Norm, having not been able to destroy the factory, he can't... Well, he knows that there are more Banshees that are be, going to be built. That's just how it's going to work. More Banshees coming up because the factory's still alive, and another... 30 seconds or so, and Norm will have another Archangel. That will be more than enough to deal with the Banshees. Should probably... He might want to bring one of them with the Pyros. I imagine he's going to do that. Bring one with the Pyros and keep the other one at home. And now Norm is... Actually, getting kind of lucky. Golda moving away from the southeast side of the map as Norm expands to it. Now, Golda, I should point out, does not have... Oops. Golda has radar. Never mind. He does not know exactly where Norm is has set his stuff up where he's expanding to or anything like that. But he does have radar, and he actually does realize something is going on in the southeast side of the map. Gonna send some Banshees to investigate. We'll see how that goes. And Golda move actually, Red Avatar in the, in the spectator chat, pointing out that Golda might be going for a ground switch. And yeah, a proxy ground switch would be very powerful right about now. They're 
isn't a whole lot of investment in Archangels, though, so it's not the most powerful thing. But Norm about to lose his commander, taking heavy damage. There's no way the Archangels will get there in time. Trying to jump away from it, but that's not going to help out too much. All it's going to do is cause that Metal Extractor to be destroyed by the explosion of the commander. And the Banshees are in a great spot. Archangels finally moving in to deal with the Banshees. But unfortunately, not there in time. Really needs more power. Yeah, Norm pointing out he doesn't have radar. He just... No, he still doesn't have radar. He's purely on line of sight. Does not really know what's going on around the map. And he certainly doesn't know that there's eight Banshees closing in on his one Pyro. But like I said, he needs to bring his Pyros out in pairs. These things do not survive long enough to work alone. If he had... If he just waited until he got all of his Pyros built up and attacked with them all at once, he'd probably kill Gota's commander. He'd pretty... He might not kill the Banshees, but getting rid of the commander wouldn't be a problem. Commander is building up a Lotus, which is the best thing to do against Pyros. Archangel's trying to deal with the Banshees, which aren't doing a bad job. Gets rid of one of them. But unfortunately, the Archangels are about to die to Goldus Commander and an additional Pyro coming in for extra support. And Goldus Commander still has going to repair all that damage. It's not going to take all that much damage. And another Pyro coming in, but Norm just does not have the economy to really push these out quickly. And his main base, Goldus still getting more and more Banshees. And another Pyro goes down without dealing any damage. This is just sad. I mean, Norm, just get bring your Pyros together. Have a big group of Pyros and then attack. That'll deal all the damage you need. But unfortunately, no. He's sending them in one at a time, which is never a good idea. Oh, and one cut asking about experience. I'm don't, not entirely sure how Elo factors into it. I think it might mean that they have higher Elo than you do. I honestly don't know offhand. I haven't paid much attention to the experience calculations. I'm sorry, I can't really answer that question very well. But it looks like Norm is, in fact... Building up more Pyros, setting up a small army of Pyros first. I mean, two Pyros, well, would have been enough. Now, Golda has level two commander, so it's not going to be enough. Unfortunately, 2100 health. It's close, but it's not going to be quite enough. Three should do the trick. And a moderator coming in as well, which will help. But it's still taking a little while. Two seconds left before that moderator comes up. And I think with that, Norm is about to attack. He's not waiting for the moderator, though. Going straight into the Pyros, jumping in, which is not the best idea to do. But he will be able to, well, might be able to go to Ghost Commander. In fact, I don't know. Between, no, with Ghost Commander having weapon upgrade and the Lotus, this is not going to work out. If he had that moderator there, it would have done it. But no, he did not. Unfortunately, he did not. I, that, that's the thing. I could say that Norm is, he's probably panicking at this point. I think he is probably panicked after losing his commander. I mean, he is against Golda. That is intimidating. I think that's what's going on here. He's getting intimidated by the fact that he's up against Golda. And Golda building up a caretaker. Yeah, that looks to me like it's going to be a proxy. That's a surefire sign of a proxy coming up pretty soon. And Moderator, unfortunately, not able to deal a whole lot of damage. Archangels, however, can deal with these Banshees, but losing a Moderator in the process, that is painful. A few puppies are up now for Norm. He can reclaim some of these Banshee Rex, Pyro Rex. To get a and actually commander record would be a big one. Getting a ton of power, getting a ton of puppies off that. You can break the center position. That would actually do a lot of damage to Golda. But Golda reinforcing his position at home. And with the economy he has, it's gonna be very tricky for him to actually get damaged meaningfully. Golda looks like he's trying to sweep around, get rid of all of Norm's expansions, get rid of his metal attempts. And yeah, Norm even pointed out he needs more patience. Yeah, that's that's true. You that's that's the thing. That he he knows what he needs. That's good. It's good to be self-aware like that. That's actually a very key component of self-improvement, is self-awareness. So I'm glad to see that he is aware. He's getting a lot of puppies as well, but the Banshee's coming into the main base, or around the main base, taking care of all these metal extractors. Not hitting the main base directly, and the Archangels are way out of position, unfortunately. Can't easily deal with these plateaus. Actually, can they even? No, well, they sort of can. They can kind of walk up, but they're not trying to. They're trying to go around instead, being that would be the faster route. Unfortunately, it's also much slower than the Banshees have. The puppy's going along. That will be pretty good anti-air. Getting rid of a couple Banshees. Not a bad shot there, although admittedly that was the commander's worth of puppies. Yeah. That, that was a lot of metal that just went into destroying the two Banshees there. Not really the best anti-air. And given that Norm doesn't have a whole lot of metal in his territory, that's... That's saying a lot. So Golda has a caretaker. He is using it right now for reclaim, but 
probably going to use it to build up a factory right next to Norm's base and then push in and win from there. I don't know what Norm really has. He is harassing over the north pretty well, getting a few metal extractors here and there, but Golda right now has, like, thanks to Reclaim primarily, four times the amount of metal that Norm has and twice the army size in terms of cost. Norm's only hope is getting lucky with these Archangels. Yeah, the Archangels. Get him in the right spot and killing off the dozen Banshees or so that have been built up. Especially as more and more get built up. And with Golda's economy, he is just pumping out Banshees like there's no tomorrow. This is not going well for Norm, I'm afraid. Actually, two or three more Archangels wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just the lack of economy that becomes problematic for that. And more Freakers coming up as well, just for extra build power. Only one is really necessary or useful at this point, especially with all the Metal Extractors going down. Golda going for another sweep. A couple Pyros in place, valiantly defending against the Banshees, but they will not kill them in time. He'd need to have about half a dozen Pyros to be able to kill off these Banshees. No, not, no more than that. Probably a dozen Pyros to kill off those Banshees. And Golda coming in with the level 5 Commander. Concussion Shot and Light Particle Beam. And some speed upgrades. Getting rid of the Archangels and Norm just GG's. He knows he has no chance, and that is game. Rather unfortunate, Norm had like two chances right at the start. If he had two power... And there's the Cloaky Switch, I should point out. Golda did go for a Cloaky Bot Switch, but didn't even matter. But yeah, Norm, he could have killed the Commander earlier on with the Pyros. He could have killed the Factory with two Pyros. Just he needed two Pyros instead of one. Rather unfortunate. I mean, he couldn't really have scouted that out, but... I mean, retreating with the Pyros and then bringing in reinforcements to finish off. That was doable. Oh, well, that is that game. So I'll have another one for you guys in just a moment. It'll be... Lightman versus Floris, the 14th, on Onyx Cauldron. So, casting the other two people who do 0k games. Stay tuned for that, it'll be up in just a moment.